there was an island in the Euphrates River. The intel was that there was enemy on this island and they were shooting mortars from this island. You know, you have your M16 slung, your magazines, you have your grenades, so you're swimming with a full combat load. That morning, my swimming partner was Corporal Jeffrey Green. We were probably maybe 15 feet from the island, and I told Corporal Green I was going to try to um, touch the bottom, and I couldn't touch, so we started swimming again. By the time I got from that 15 feet, you know, I swam that 15 feet, where I tried to touch, I, I ended up getting to the island, and I turned around and Corporal Green was gone. I always wondered, why me? Why didn't I get hurt? Why didn't I get shot? Why didn't I get killed? You know, why did, why did these guys have to, have to die? And, you know, they remind me, they, they remind me to get up and, you know, make the most of my day. Well, when he, when he came home, he came home um, definitely changed. He was home, but <clears throat> he brought the war back with him, I think. And um, I didn't see the day-to-day -day thing, but I just, I know later on he told us there was four or five times where he was thinking about suicide. And the hardest part is that we all loved him so much and we couldn't help him. I had a really hard time with the transition from military to civilian life. I had a hard time sleeping. Um, if I wasn't blacked out drunk, I would, I would have bad dreams. And, you know, that was my way of coping with the problem was blacking out. So I drank to, I drank to try to solve my problems. The New Year's of 2007, I ended up meeting uh, this girl named Lara. Uh, my name is Lara, and I've been dating Brandon for going on eight years on New Year's. This VA appointment had come up, and I was unsure on if I was going to go or not. But, you know, all I needed was, one, you know, that one person to tell me, yes, do it. And I, so I went. I did encourage him to get help, but there's no way that I could tell him to get help and him actually do it and it be successful. It was something that had to come from within himself. I ended up going to the Minneapolis VA. I was diagnosed with a PTSD and an anxiety disorder. They have plenty of awesome doctors and all these programs. I used the Montgomery GI Bill. I went to school in Eau Claire, Wisconsin at Chippewa Valley Technical College and got a, two associate degrees one in business management and one in marketing. I uh, think the GI Bill allowed uh, Brandon. It prepared him for his uh, um, entrepreneurship. He started his own uh, P-Dub uh, productions and looks to me like he's off to a roaring start. I, I graduated school and I started a production company and I traveled the United States and Canada recording uh, Native American music. As an economist, I'd say we got a good return on our investment. A lot of the recordings that we do are live. Um, so we, you know, we're, we travel to, from state to state, from province to province, going to these different powwows. And we actually set up the, the microphones around the drum. The singers sing their songs and, you know, I have a pretty easy job. I just hit record. Anything that you might have going on, that's what the VA is for, and there are plenty of people there to help you. So just, I think, ultimately supporting each other and loving each other, come what may. I couldn't ask for anything more right now. I, you know, I'm, I'm really happy where I'm at right now.